Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Everyman Driver. I'm always looking for opportunities for you to save money on a new vehicle. That's why I have that website, quotes.everymandriver.com. It's a free search engine to help you find the best deals in your zip code. So I found the vehicles with the most inventory nationwide as of this month. And there's two ways to look at this. Either dealerships are having a hard time selling these vehicles or the supply chain is easing up and now we have more inventory than we used to. So here are the top 10 vehicles with the most inventory and the areas where you'll find them more likely across the nation. So at number 10, the 2023 Mazda CX-5. They've got just over 12,300 of these nationwide with the biggest concentration in New York. At number nine is a 2022 Chevrolet Silverado 1500, over 13,000 with the biggest concentration in Detroit. At number eight, 2023 Ram 1500, uh, 13,460, again, Detroit. Biggest concentration of a lot of these vehicles are, will be in Detroit. At number seven, the Chevrolet Equinox 2023, over 14,000 of those. 2022 Ford Escape, so they haven't sold enough of the 2022s because they're still out there. Uh, 15,600, and Detroit, naturally, is where most of those are uh, being located right now. Then you have a 2023 GMC Sierra 1500, over 16,000 nationwide. And being a GMC and a Sierra, looking at uh, Texas as the biggest concentration for those. Uh, Ford F-150 2022, they still have 17,000 uh, around the country, with Detroit being the biggest concentration there. Coming in at number three, the 2023 Nissan Rogue, more than 19,000 of these around the country, biggest concentration in New York. Uh, 2023 Ford F-150, 29,800, again in New York. And then number one most available vehicle based on inventory is a 2023 Chevrolet Silverado 1500. They've got over 35,000 of those spread out across the country. Biggest concentration in Detroit. This is a good example of supply and demand. A lot of these vehicles are out there, which means they want to push these vehicles, going to get them off the dealership lots, so they're probably willing to make a deal with you. So use quotes.everymandriver.com and get a good deal on these. If you don't find what you're looking for in your zip code, expand your zip code and be willing to travel a few miles to save a few bucks. So the following 10 cars lose most of their resale value in the first five years. Five-year-old used cars sold last year had lost an average of just 33% of their value at that point. This data according to a new analysis by iccars.com. That is down from 40% in 2021, which seems good, but you're still losing 33% of the value of that vehicle after five years. Three-year-old used cars sold last year had depreciated by 17%, the smallest drop on record. Now, today's soaring gas prices mean fuel-efficient cars are especially likely to hold their value. However, some vehicles still lose their value far more quickly than others. The following vehicles have lost the most value after five years. Starting at number 10, we'll work up to number one, which will be the worst. Ford Expedition, 50.7%. Volvo S90, 51.4, Audi A6, 51.5, Lincoln Navigator, Mercedes-Benz S-Class, both at 52%, Cadillac Escalade ESV, 52.3, Infiniti QX80, 52.6, 54% for a Jaguar XF, 56.3% for a Maserati Ghibli, and the vehicle that loses the most value after five years recently, BMW 7 Series, 56.9%. These are cars you don't want to buy or invest in if you plan on selling them after five years. Now, the cars that hold their value the best are the following. Jeep Wrangler, 7.3% depreciation over the first five years. That's pretty damn good. Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, 8.7% of depreciation over the first five years and a Porsche 911. People love these and they keep buying them at high prices even though they're older, 14.6%. Now other cars on this list that held their value well included the Tacoma, 14.9%, Honda Civic, 16.3%, Subaru BRZ at 18.2%. Any surprises on this list for you? You own any of these vehicles? If you do, leave them in the comments section below and we'll keep that conversation and sharing going on there. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. 
A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.